Hi there, I'm going to show you how to use Cam Scanner on my mobile device to make multi page PDFs of your work that you can use to upload to class. To do so, you need a, multi a mobile device. In this case, I've got an iPhone 6. You can use a tablet, Samsung phone, or other things like that. Go to the App Store, however you get there, and download Cam Scanner and open it. I'm going to open Cam Scanner on my device so that we can see there's a camera control right here in the center uh, so I can take pictures of. Of my, my, my document. My document I've set on my table in front of me so that I can see it. Uh, you want to have a contrasting background behind it and you hold your camera up high above and then press the camera button. It'll image stabilize and wait until there's a nice steady image before it takes a picture. I will do the same thing with the second one here and take that picture. All right, you can even take handwritten papers such as a pad of paper you've drawn on and done some work on and take a picture of it. I'll show you. I'm going to even take it so that it's kind of skewed like this and how it straightens out. So I've got my three images that I need to take pictures of. I can see there's three right here. I click on the finish on my device. Now the camera goes off and it starts processing those three images. I can see the three images here the first one, second one, and third one. It uh, doesn't matter which one you go to, but what you want to make sure of is that when you touch one of your images, one of your pages, you can see that it kind of had a bowed frame across the top, um, and it did manage to find the corners nicely, even though it was kind of skewed. I'll show you what it looks like when I press the re-edit at the top. It took and said that I, my, it thought the edges of the top was way up by where, where my computer was. I can take that corner there and I can drag it down to where the corner is over here. Do the same thing on the other corner right here. That cuts off the banner at the top of my pad of paper and press the check in the bottom corner. I will press the check. It actually reprocesses it. Because it was kind of faint and light, it uh, didn't do a very good job of seeing my handwriting. I can lighten it up by pressing the lighten. So it, this is what the original looked like. It's got a gray kind of shadow, kind of gray. It's important to have good lighting when you take these pictures so that you can get better information out of it. I can lighten it a little bit. I can go to magic color or black and white. I can also go inside here into settings and I can increase my brightness, I can decrease my brightness, I can increase my contrast, decrease my contrast so that I can see what I have scanned. This isn't the best image that I could get out of this, but it's not bad considering it was kind of dark and in the shadow. Now, and when I'm done, I press the back at the top here, press back and I can see my three pages of my document. To share this, I push the share button on the bottom, the share icon at the bottom of the screen, and I wanna share and keep it as the original size. Now it's important to keep it as the original size so that it is a better quality image. Um, press the Google Drive, and I wanna export mine to Google Drive. But the point is, is I can get it to my Google Drive, and I can use it in, on my computer, I could even email it to myself. So if I go back here and press share as the original, I can send it as an email right here. This might be the easiest way to get it to yourself. Send it as an email, it opens up and puts send. Now it'll send that email and I will catch it in my email. I can download the file to my computer and carry on. Hope this was informative. You can go back and watch this. If you have questions, don't hesitate to contact me at AVS and we can get you working better with Cam Scanner. Have a great day.